What's good, everybody? It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. Black men, you know, I started this YouTube channel in 2015, and I want to give you brothers a round of applause for supporting me. And um, I'm very thankful to reach a plethora of African American men from all walks of life, and I really enjoy making content for our people. But one of the things that I noticed, uh, especially when it comes to being a man, is that in our community, being a black man is not about being a leader. Being a black man is not about being strong. Um, being a black man is about getting up every day to <laughs> basically serve other people, all right? Uh, other communities, you know, they're okay to lead and they're okay to do things. But when it comes to the black man, we're used as the utility. That's where we've letting ourselves, you know, uh, we, 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 we've allowed ourselves to get there with the help of the government and other people. And so when people look at us, it's to do this for me or give me that. And, you know, and that's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to serve everybody other than ourselves. And because of our position now people look at us in many in many instances with an ungrateful disposition right especially people that we're in relationships for our family members and even though they don't deserve what we can do for them a lot of times we get hit with a lot of disrespect and i want to show this particular situation where you had this sister a brother goes out there and gets her all of these Valentine's Day gifts. Beautiful gifts. And I want you to witness the disrespect that this sister goes. Kim, play that clip. This ain't what the f I asked for. I don't need, what the f I didn't, these, I didn't ask for these. What the f is this shit? I don't. I could have kept my money. I said booty shorts. These are not. So you heard what she what she had to say. Now I, I want to be, um, you know, be real. The guy seems like a nice guy, but let's just be honest, he's a simp. Okay. And um, you know, a lot of brothers, you know, this could be a brother. You know, he he could be a killer. <laughs> he could be a hardcore guy. Listen, it's not just you know uh, a, a school guy who takes abuse like this. It's a lot of black men. Um, that their woman talks down to them. And obviously this is a woman that has no respect for him. Okay. And at this point, a lot of black men have to take the position that there is nothing that I can do for her that will make her happy. And the reason why is because I've let it get so bad that she don't respect me. So there's nothing that she's going to appreciate because she does not respect me. Now, once it has gotten here, we can assume that, you know, he's letting her, he, he has allowed her to get away with a lot of things for many years. All right. And to be honest, it's not her fault. It's his fault. I'm not letting her off the hook, but I want to explain why. A lot of brothers have grown up in situations in their households where you know their mom has you know talked down to them or something or a grandmother i was watching terrell owens fix my life with a young little man Zant, his grandmother used to talk down to him so you grow up with you know okay well you know when a sister talking down to me well you know i can just take it and kind of move on but once you allow that to happen there's no turning back okay he's used to this but then she's ungrateful because he made a mistake. 
as if she is old something. Now, if you look at her, now obviously she's not the most attractive lady in the world. She should be glad to get anything. A taco, Wendy's cheeseburger. But now here we have this particular young lady talking to this man like he's a dog. Ungrateful, entitled. And you know what? It doesn't have to always be this bad, guys. You see, the disrespect is not in someone just calling you names. The disrespect is is somebody believing that you owe them something, no matter what their tonality is. And here's the situation. Black men really have to make it where the women in our community are just thankful for our being in the relationship with them. Okay. Forget the gifts. Because we already know what they're going to do every Valentine's Day, Christmas Day. It's all about some booty. Where is the appreciation for the black man? And I have to I have to say this. Men have to make people appreciate what we bring to the table. And I know a lot of you black men bring things to the table because I, I know our people. I know our brothers are bringing love. I know our brothers are not perfect, but I know our brothers are very caring. They're always trying to help somebody out and things like that. They damn sure giving back to the sisters and to their mamas. But are we giving away these things so freely that we have forgotten about ourselves? You know, we have to really look at that. Have we prioritized ourselves and our happiness first? Because again, I was talking to Brother George make another day and me and Brother George were talking about that men have an innate desire to serve and to help solve problems. That's just what a man does. Right? A man is a servant of the community. But the thing about it is, is that the women, uh, the way the black man is serving today is in the wrong is in the wrong place. Okay. He's serving the wrong type of woman many times. And when wrong people get good treatment, they don't know how to appreciate it. So you have a lot of black men out there who are getting disrespected, who are out there trying to do certain things. This is what I want to tell you. The number one thing you can do for yourself is respect yourself as a man. Nobody can force you or, or, or respect you if you don't have any respect for yourself. Because it, no, no woman can should be able to talk to you like that or even think about talking to you like that. But you don't see you set the boundaries. You allow what people give to you, what they talk to you, how they treat you. That's that's, uh, that's only your decision. And you see a lot of black men out there who are complaining about you know how they're being treated but then you set the boundaries now i can understand when the black man says like well you know when i deal with other groups of women and stuff like that i don't have these problems and i get it but if you don't set the boundaries a woman doesn't need to talk to you in this way to just be disrespectful you know a woman could 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 could, could basically do what she's doing and never curse never yell do it with a smiling face People have to earn your attention, okay? Let me shout out Alan Roger Curry because he has a book called No Free Attention. So just in case he comes by, so now I'm stealing that stuff. They have to earn your quality. They have to earn your commitment. A lot of black men are letting that stuff go for free, okay? A lot, of, a lot of black men are, 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 are letting that happen. And that's the problem. That's the problem. And that's what we're doing here today, guys. We really need to get out of that. We have to have respect for ourselves, for the community does, what they do and women like this this tonality so absolutely no black men have to respect themselves so guys what do you think it's your boy o'shea duke jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity junk i really appreciate you for all that you do 
subscribe with the bell, check out the first comment pinned to the top, check out the black men or perfect t-shirts. And as you know, the buffoonery remains at an all-time high. I'm out.